Welcome to Missing the Mark, where we look for meaning in strange places. I'm Christopher. Today I'm going to give a brief explanation for why I won't be responding any further to Bionic Dance, and it has nothing to do with her difficulty in distinguishing my name from the name of this channel. I don't really care what people call me. I will not be responding because a rule I have been developing is that if a person will not take their belief seriously, then neither will I. I'll explain what I mean in a moment. But first, I should note that in my response, I did actually misunderstand her main point, because I assumed her response was talking about what I said. In her response to my response, Bionic Dance makes it clear that she's uninterested in communicating effectively. Her only interests are the taxonomy of non-belief she has developed and its use for self-identification. Why she cares this deeply about self-identification, I don't know. If it isn't to stave off the feelings of loneliness which can come from believing in a meaningless world which made us as a cruel joke, I'm guessing she's writing a dating app, presumably called Atheister, though Lacquer would be more catchy. I actually anticipated this in my original video when I mentioned that lack of belief, if meant sincerely, would be utterly uninteresting except if one wanted to date the atheist or keep the rat as a pet. Since she doesn't need my permission for how to write her dating app, why she went to the trouble of talking about my video would be a mystery if she didn't have a Patreon account. Mills need grist, and when one's claim to fame is how much one doesn't know, I'm guessing one needs to manufacture outrage pretty frequently. Anyway, to explain what I mean about Bionic Dance not taking her own beliefs seriously, according to her, in her response to my response, this is what she believes. I am an agnostic epistivist atheist, or someone who lacks any knowledge of God's existence, does not engage in the use of faith, and therefore does not believe in any gods. But in her first response video, she described her belief thus. I'm pretty convinced that the gods I've been told about are bullshit because their existence has been proposed without evidence, demanding faith instead of providing data, and because their scriptures are usually full of plot holes, contradictions, and verifiably false historical claims. But I am leaving my eyes and ears open for a god that can be proved. If pretty convinced means seems likely but I'm not convinced, then these two statements aren't contradictory, but why she's running a YouTube channel against ideas she believes might be right is an open question. If pretty convinced means convinced, then she is in effect saying she's a Gnostic atheist, that is an atheist by the old definition, with regard to gods that any other human being has actually talked about, but agnostic with regard to gods no one has ever talked about. While not technically speaking a lie, neither would this be even a little bit honest. Further, she would have defended her claim that gods she's heard about aren't real, making her earlier complaints about being forced to defend a position she doesn't hold disingenuous. Oh, and if pretty convinced means that she's convinced but doesn't have Cartesian certainty, unless one buys Descartes' argument that God wouldn't let a powerful demon consistently fool our senses, no one has Cartesian certainty about anything, and wasting people's time with disclaimers about it disqualifies one from adult conversation. Putting it all together, the benefit of the doubt on this one would seem to be to assume that she's running her YouTube channel against ideas which she thinks might be right. But even giving her the benefit of that doubt doesn't do any good. Consider this clip from her second response video to me. Atheist activism is more a form of self-defense than anything else. If theists could share and play nicely with the other kids, atheists would probably just roll their eyes at ridiculous religious beliefs and go on with their lives. But of course, if she doesn't know that the theists are wrong, she doesn't know that the theists are attacking her. If the theists are right, they are sharing and playing nicely. In fact, if the theists are right, they're being extremely helpful. What she should have said is that atheist activism is a form of self-defense for Gnostic atheists, and either self-defense or self-harm for agnostic atheists, they don't know which. But she didn't say that, and we all know that she didn't say that because it's not what she means. And if she's not going to take what she says seriously, then neither will I. Until next time, may you hit everything you aim at.